Okay, welcome to the workbench here. Going through and trying to figure out how to get my KUS fuel level sending units into my chart plotter. So I've got a SimRed chart plotter um, and it can read in uh, NEMA 2000 uh, devices, um, but my fuel level sending units, the KUS units, are just an analog, like a simple resistance device. So what I've found is uh, these adapters uh, off of AliExpress. They come as a closed up box. They've got uh, two dip switches on them that allow you to change uh, what type of liquid you're sensing and then also what the tank number is. Uh, they come with a pretty fun little data sheet. Uh, being an AliExpress device, uh, uh, sometimes the documentation is not super stellar, but good enough for what we need to do. Uh, so this should just work just fine. Um, setting this up on the workbench because it's much easier to see than it is on the boat, uh, but to run you down on what we have in front of us, uh, I'll, I'll go through that real quick. Um, first, we're going to use a, a Raspberry Pi 4 with the PiCan M hat uh, from Copper Hill or SK Pang. Uh, it's a small uh, hat that goes on top of a Raspberry Pi computer, gives you a, a NEMA 2000 connector. Um, that is going into this T here. Uh, this red one here is where I get power from, so if you follow this all the way around, it goes to these little gator clips that are coming from my power supply, which is showing right now we're drawing 0.25 amps at 13 volts. Um, you can power this whole system from the boat. It would, it would be how it would be connected down the road, so like I've already got a, um, a, a NEMA 2000 network on the boat, so it's going to basically plug right into that. Uh, granted, it being a SIM RAD system, it's a SIM net connectors, which are quite a bit different. They're smaller, these little guys here, instead of the, uh, I think it's a micro C, I believe it's called, connector that you would find on a normal uh, NEMA 2000 device. So this cable will be an adapter. This will plug into my SIM net system and then plug into this end of this main splitter here. So this is what I really want to see is four different cables coming off of this. I'm going to have one for my port diesel tank, my starboard diesel tank, my port water tank, my starboard water tank. So that way I'll have all of my tank levels on my chart plotter. Um, yeah, so into this part, you can see that this is a, this is a four meter cable. Uh, it's a NEMA 2000 micro C connector um, cable. Uh, that goes to the little um, adapter box that basically packages a, the resistance level you would see from like a KUS fuel level sending unit uh, into a NEMA 2000 signal. And then again, based on the dip switch orientation, you'll be able to change uh, what type of liquid it is and then what number of tank it is. Because I've got two tanks of diesel and two tanks of water. I need to have one be tank zero, one to be tank one, and then I need water tank zero and water tank one. So uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, just going to look at to open plotter over here and see what uh, this looks like. So we'll go to signal K. And we're going to look into data browser. I don't really want all the metadata, but this is all the data that's coming in right now on this bench setup. Some of these are just default things that are set up on chart plotter. Um, but these are the things that I'm most curious about. So I'm taking a look and seeing... Am I seeing fuel tank zero uh, and then fuel tank one? Uh, so that's working quite well. Uh, the default volume for the tank, the max capacity is 0.08 meters cubed, uh, which is not correct, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix that in the chart plotter side of things. Uh, just to show you an example of how the dip switches work, uh, I'm gonna take uh, one of these and change the dip switch from zero, which would be a, a fuel tank, to, I'm gonna rotate this to Number one, which should be, I think, a fresh water tank. So that's now set to one. And you'll see on this table, all right, fresh water tank shows back up, or shows up now. So I've got uh, tank number one, that's a fresh water tank. It gives me its capacity in its current level. Uh, if you want, since this one is actually now uh, an old system, an old tank from when the dip switch was set to zero, uh, I can actually move remove that by basically restarting um, my data browser. So I'll have to start over again and basically it's got to go, um, where did that restart button go? Hmm. I seem to have lost it. How did I lose that? Oh no. Oh. So, um, you'll have to get back to you on how to actually restart this again. This is a slightly different login than what I was looking at before, but that's the gist of what I'm going to install on the boat this week. Uh, should give you an idea of what 
uh, you could do to read in a fuel level sensor into your um, your network on your chart plotter if you've got a relatively modern chart plotter. Um, you could do a similar thing for NEMA 0183. Uh, you just have to get a different adapter that packages it in a different different way. But there you go. Um, I'll keep you updated and I'll show you what it looks like installed on the boat next week.